You can't understand a man unless you've walked a mile in his shoes. And in September 2007, George Martin took the most meaningful steps of his life. We're very delighted to gather here for what we are calling a journey for 9-11. This is an opportunity for us as Americans to show our gratitude to a group of heroes. As a result of the World Trade Towers uh, coming down, there was a plume of toxins that were released in the air. And during their uh, efforts to find survivors down there, the first responders and rescue and recovery workers were exposed to this toxic air. And an inordinate amount of them have health concerns. So Martin decided to take matters into his own hands and feet and set out on a journey by walking from New York to California to raise money for the first responders. That is an unbelievable undertaking, but to raise awareness or to do something that's great, it's got to be extraordinary. Thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. And I won't fail. I will not fail, gentlemen. The magnitude of this situation required something much larger than just having a, a chicken dinner or, or a golf tournament or just a standard sports auction. This was another dinner. It just was like a thousand dinners, you know. He was doing one every day. We started in New York and then we went through, obviously, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Washington, D.C., Virginia. If you look at it in its totality, you know, gosh, walking across the United States, that's almost insurmountable. But when you do it incrementally, it obviously can be accomplished. Y'all want to walk to California with us? Come on! Along the way, Martin discovered the spirit of America. I'm so impressed. Well, thank you. I already made a donation, but I'll make another one. Okay, all right. All thank right. you very much. People were just so committed to the spirit of what we were doing. Thank you. Happy holidays. It's a great America, and there are great Americans out there. Martin has always excelled at going the distance. After 14 years with the New York Giants, he retired with more touchdowns than any defensive lineman in NFL history. Elway is looking for a target, goes out to the right side, intercepted, George Martin! 30, 45, at the 45, Elway takes him and breaks the tackle. 40, 35, 30 for Martin, Martin to the 20, Martin to the 10, he's in! George Martin's is a tremendous example for young players, and he inspires me. And I think it's a rare person that can inspire greatness in other people just by his behavior. I think about Bill Parcells every day because he didn't teach me, at least, about football only. He taught me about life. Hey, fellas, this is what you work all off season for. This is why you lift all them weights. This is why you do all that. It's guys like George Martin that inspired me to be a coach. I wouldn't underestimate this guy doing anything, really. Bill Parcells, he called me, and he took out his checkbook. He mailed me a check. I got it in two days. And his contribution singularly helped put us over that million-dollar mark. Who, 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 who? Behind you, right here. I do not get shut out. We do break for money. So any coins that are on the highway, we stop, we pick them up, we bless them. We put it in the contribution list. So I would always pick up what we call roadside change. As I say, a penny saved is a penny earned. Ha! 12 cents. Hey, grapes are wrapped. That's a day's wages, man. <laughs> when it was all said and done, I think we had a little over $200 that we had picked up. So don't laugh at it. Money, for sure. Over the course of his walk, Martin raised nearly $3 million, but he also racked up some other impressive numbers. The total miles came out to 3,003 miles. It took us eight and a half months. We went through 27 pairs of sneakers. There were more than five million steps. Every day we had a minimum objective of 20 miles a day. Unfortunately, we come across a lot of roadkill. Roadkill, all varieties. All types. This one particular day, I could see that there was a dead animal up there. It happened to be a dead possum that was splattered all over the road. My buddy Lee back there was walking along as we were on a very narrow stretch of the highway. So I thought I'd play a prank on him. So I asked him just before he got to him, I said, Lee, how's the traffic behind us? Anything coming? And he looked back to see if there was anything just to double check. As I casually stepped over a dead possum, and he stepped right in the middle of it. One of those juicy ones, so <laughs> he's not talking to me right now. He's a little bit upset about it. I told him it would wash out over time. 
Needless to say, he didn't see the humor in it. I thought it was hilarious. Martin had already been to every state in the country, but for a man from the South who needed to satisfy his wanderlust, the chance to see America up close and personal was a dream come true. As I grew up on this very small plot of land in Greenville, South Carolina, I didn't have a lot of exposure to the outside world. And consequently, I wanted to know what was on the other side of that stand of trees or just over that hill or just down that road. And so I've always wanted to walk across America. And I know a lot of people find that somewhat odd and strange, but that's just the way I'm hardwired. It was just a, a great way to learn the complexity and the diversity of this country. I would strongly recommend that people do this all over. I see uh, a great milestone, mighty Mississippi, which means that we've traveled a long, long way. When you see the Blue Ridge Mountains, when you see the wonderful spans of the desert, when you see the animals, when you see the tranquility of a nice body of water, to me, all those things and many, many more are the secondary reason that I went on this journey. All right, guys, we're ready to to do it. When Martin reached the California coast in late June, he had lost 40 pounds, but he never lost sight of his cause. FDNY! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. FDNY. The best, the best! We all sit back and, and I do it a lot. I go, you know, I want to do more for people. But unfortunately, it kind of stays that way sometimes. If the average American person started thinking about this undertaking here, this is a pretty big task. And he did it all for other people. Yeah. 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 Hey! 3,000 miles. 3,000 miles. 3,000. Well, let's hear it for the people in uniform. Let's hear it for the people in uniform. A journey for 911 in its totality was an act of reciprocation. It was an act of paying homage to a group of individuals that so richly deserve it. Me putting on and lacing up a pair of sneakers and walking across the country, um, that was just enjoyable. <laughs> now who's up for walking back with me? Uh, all right. <laughs>